Big news, guys, that we need you to share everywhere. Overnight, in the middle of the night, we received an email that the venue in Wellington has pulled our event due to sustained threats of violence against them. Now, we'll get, we'll tell you the whole story in a second, but I want to let everyone know I made a promise when I landed here. In fact, I made a promise when I was banned here that I was going to come here and they weren't going to make me cow and they weren't going to stop me. And I made that promise to everyone in Wellington that even if they pull the venue, even if they threaten with us with violence, we will hold the event no matter what. And we will. And we are holding the event because that's what we are. We are rebels and we don't let them cancel us. We've published the new venue. But what I'm going to ask people at home here now to watch this all the way through so you understand what actually happened, then share it with everyone. When they try to cancel us, what's the answer to that? Is to ensure we double or triple our numbers by activating every New Zealander, anyone in Wellington that stands for freedom of speech, whether you agree with us or not, freedom of speech matters or your country will fall. So spread it far and wide, share this with everyone and I can't wait to see you in Wellington tonight. Here, I want to read from their, their email, their late night panic email. This, this is a pretzel of logic. I mean, wrap your mind around this. It seems that Mr. Yemeni's presence on our cathedral site may be considered by several in our community to be divisive. And get this, and may lead to attempts by others to prevent the event from taking place. So you have to understand, Avi, we have to cancel the event because otherwise others might try to cancel the event. So we don't want others to cancel the event, so we're going to cancel the event so they can't cancel the event. That's why we're canceling the event. Guys, just say it. Just say you're terrified of these violent thugs and you don't believe that the police will stop them. And by the way, I can understand that because the police didn't stop the violence against Posey Parker. Now, the amazing news, because there's a silver lining here, is last night I think I met New Zealand's bravest man, Brian Tamaki. He's a Maori church leader, and he hosted us last night in Auckland. And these left-wing thugs didn't dare go close to these Maori men. In fact, they complained online. The same people that pushed this cancellation now, that encouraged others to call and threaten the uh, church that pulled on us in Wellington, complained on Twitter that we were doing it at Destiny's Church here in Auckland, which is the reason why we chose to do it, because they knew they couldn't shut it down. Why don't they intimidate you? I'm their worst nightmare. And just like they've been cancelling you and other people, I'm going to cancel them. They know who I am and they know who we are. And I think that's very important, never to be afraid of the oppressor, um, because they are more afraid of you and they know that you're not afraid of them. And so Pastor Brian has offered his destiny church in Wellington. And first of all, that's amazing. And second of all, I pity the, the you know, the vegan Antifa fool who wants to take on these Maori men who believe in freedom. It's that, That's what being so beautiful. I'm from Canada. We don't really know a lot about the Maori. I, I went to the museum in Auckland yesterday. I, I learned a little bit about it. But to see these men stand for freedom and stand for... And Pastor Brian himself was jailed in New Zealand. Let me talk about that for a second. So the police will jail a Christian pastor, but they won't touch left-wing thugs who are threatening churches. Look, I, I've only been in New Zealand, you could count it in hours or days. I love the place. I mean, I feel a kinship with them because I'm Canadian, New Zealand, there are ties. I think Jacinda Ardern started to point this country towards authoritarianism. And if you're on her side, you get a pass for violence. If you're not on her side, the police will target you for politics. This country's got to shake that off. And it's got to move back towards the rule of law and freedom of speech. And you know what? The answer to an author having a book launch you don't like is to have your own book event, to write your own book, to, to write a book review, to come and debate. It's not to threaten churches with violence. There is something deeply wrong in New Zealand. If you can threaten a church with violence, scare them into canceling a book launch, and neither police nor politicians say a word. They can't win, we won't let them win, and you need to take a stand by coming to Wellington tonight. Rebelfromastart.com, scroll down a little or go to the events there, 
and get yourself a ticket. Share this news with everybody. Share the event. Bring your friends. Take a stand. Come say hi. It was a lovely event last night. I can't wait to shake everyone's hand, take a photo, grab a copy of the book, whatever. But be there. Yeah. Because New Zealand, this, this matters. You know what? I like the book. I enjoyed the book event last night. I thought it was really fun. There was a very great feeling in the crowd, a feeling of a, sort of a festival feeling and a solidarity. I loved it. That, that, that should be a reason to come alone. But there's another reason to come. Because if Avi Yamini and his book are so powerful that the left wants to silence it and crush it and terrify people, then you bloody well better come and see what it's about. And I think we have to turn this lemon into lemonade. If these censorious thugs, if these violent threateners, and they threatened a church, hey, what would Jacinda Ardern and her echo party, what would they say if they threatened a mosque? Mm. Well, we know what they would do. All oh, the police would be on the streets. It was a threat against the church, and the government and the police have said nothing. I think this is the moment where New Zealanders, and not just from Wellington, but from further afield, come and say, we are against this devolution into street gangs running, running this country. And if they want to silence Avi's book so badly, we have to prove that doesn't go in New Zealand. And, you know, I, I met a lot of citizen journalists from across New Zealand yesterday. There are people in this country who believe in freedom, and we'll see you tonight in Wellington. I'm actually going to just, because now we can be loud and proud. We were very careful with the previous address because we, we were conscious, and we were conscious when we go around the world that some places may... You know, you know, get they may talk tough and then last minute do what they've done to us. We were careful with only releasing the initial church, the initial venue yesterday, but we're not afraid about this venue. So 478 Jackson Street, Patone, Lower Hut, from 7 to 10 p.m., that's where we're going to be. Get your tickets now at rebelfromthestart.com.